Welcome back. We are continuing through your life book, Element 20, which is maximizing your anti-inflammation protection. Um, it's Today, it's kind of short as well. Um, I mentioned this is a short element, but we're just going to be really in this book. It's one page, okay? 417. But here's the deal. Um, we're going to be hopping over to the Habits of Health uh, book because there's a lot more information in here. So I'm going to be taking a look at pages 429 to 433. Dr. A actually discusses how food provides us with critical nutrients and keeps us healthy and helps us grow. But many types of food also contain toxins and harm and even poison our bodies, right? We know that. The typical Western diet, known as the American diet, it's full of processed and high glycemic carbohydrates and saturated animal fats, both of which are extremely inflammatory. Actually, on this picture here, here, he shows us that um, over one half of our diet is inflammatory. It's kind of crazy, right? So Dr. Ray goes into, in this book into several different food groups and he gives us tips. All right, so I'm just going to give you some overviewing highlights, okay? So for carbohydrates, we should really increase our consumption of the low glycemic foods, all right? Fruits and vegetables, especially those that are red, orange, or yellow, Okay. Increasing our cartonoids, our vitamin C and, um, Q certain. Um, and you may be saying, what is that? I know I did the same, right. I'm probably even saying it wrong, but, but it's found in blueberries and blackberries and dark cherries, grapefruit, apples, and onions. All right. There may be more, but that's, that's where he tells us. So that's what I'm telling you. For fats, he goes into a lot of different ones. He says that many of us struggle because we eat fats that are inflammatory. And he gives us four areas to guide us, but I'm not going to go into great detail on them. It's all in this book. He goes into um, what um, using oils for cooking, which I think is pretty important, right? Which ones are better than others? And that is on pages 430 to 431 in this book. All right. So take a look at um, both of these books. It's going to give you a lot more detailed ideas and suggestions on how you can make some healthier choices relating to inflammatory foods. So um, if you remember these color-coded charts, right? This is what he shows you. That's the glycemic index. Ooh, that um, he's gonna talk about all of that information to help you make better choices on your daily, daily basis, all right? So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Please join me again tomorrow as we continue through Element 20. Tomorrow, it's about beating stress and curbing inflammation with healthy behaviors. Super important. So please feel free, like, comment, share the posts, hop on over to the YouTube channel called Healthy and Vibrant. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.